Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? Today, we are looking into an incredible channel called Goose Pimples, okay? Make sure you go over to Goose Pimples' channel. Subscribe and do the thing. And also, if you're into paranormal, weird, and the wonderful aliens, UFOs, things like that, sorry <laughs> make sure you subscribe to my channel because man we gotta get to a million subscribers come on this one is called 10 scary videos to make you laugh till you scream don't quite understand that title but there it is just a couple of things before we get into the video a couple of things i just want to mention can you remember last week where i uh mentioned the channel finders beepers history seekers um and i asked you to to, to donate one dollar or one pound to andy okay um matt put up a, 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 a just giving page andy has, has got cancer and we just wanted to try to support him through the seven weeks of like his like um intense treatment that he's gonna have to go to well at the time um i asked you to help they were on i think uh, just almost ten thousand pounds and now i got uh, i'm so happy to see guys you came through and i asked you to do one pound or one dollar some of you went maximum mate and they're up to thirty two thousand nine hundred and sixty nine pounds that is absolutely incredible and matt his best friend has put an update on here once again i just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody whether you're from our channel or beautiful ben's channel casper site or altogether different this page will be left open until the 19th of july giving everybody a chance to donate if they haven't been able to so far i will try uh, to give regular updates on andy on our youtube channel finders beepers history seekers and facebook so feel free to follow thanks again for uh, being so amazing so honestly guys thank you if you have thank you so much i really do appreciate it also um the second thing i wanted to mention is so many people ask me if i'm going to be doing a ghost hunt well um I did a ghost hunt and I just wanted to sort of like plug it again because I only did sort of like a, a, a tweet and a community post, but I actually did an investigation with ghost theory. And here's the trailer. Oh God, I thought you'd just been possessed. Right, that's freaky deaky, mate. I don't think that's a good idea to go up there. If that is a staircase, that's from every single horror movie ever. Mover. Movie, in fact. Why did that sound like someone just walked at us? Got the fucking chicken, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. And I watched it last night. I was actually going to do a reaction of it, but I, I started to play it and I carried on playing. I was like, oh, hang on, I should stop. I should do a reaction. And I just watched the whole thing. It was so good. It was so good. So please, if you get a chance after this video, maybe go and check that one out, okay? Anyway, let's look at the paranormal from Goose Pimples, okay? Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. It is one of the creepiest paranormal videos we've seen in a long time. Okay, good. Shared by TikTok user AMC Propidads, famous for their trusty real estate videos in Mexico. Mexico. Their content is all about advertising properties for sale, but you don't get featured on our channel for killer deals, do you? That's right. One day, while showing off this fresh listing, they came up against something that could potentially ruin their reputation as one of the top realtors around. What? Take a look. Man, I don't like how quickly it's going. It's giving- Oh my god! What starts as a pretty routine video tour of the house took a spooky turn when some of their eagle-eyed viewers spotted something that would make the house price fall faster than a skydiver without a parachute. A childlike oh. figure runs behind the chairs and oh. vanishes. No, it is literally just a child. It is literally just a child in a pink, white, and blue dress. As the camera pans to other parts of the house. But that house was empty for sale, and according to him, there was no way a child could pass through the gates. This. Uh, hang on, though, but you've got a freshly cut melon. A watermelon on the side.
Hmm. This mysterious figure, could it have been just a child running around or yeah. a ghost straight out of American Horror Story? Let us know your thoughts. If it wasn't for the melon, I'd be like, oh, maybe that's a bit sketchy. But I don't know, mate. If it's, uh, if it's an empty house, why have you got a, a cut melon? A watermelon? Found a creepy video you'd like <laughs> us to feature. Send like, us I, I don't mean to just go straight off the bat and just start debunking. In fact, I remembered a while ago when I complained about goose pimples um, debunking their own stuff. But I'm a viewer, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> the link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, if you enjoy scary videos like this, subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification every time we upload a new one. And me. Number nine. Number Haunted nine. McDonald's. The scary video you're about to watch was captured by Megan, who spent the night at the Ronald McDonald house while her daughter had surgery in a Knoxville hospital. Mm. The building was built in 19... <laughs> The building was built on a graveyard. <laughs> in 03, and it's an historic site where multiple people have reported witnessing strange sights. Of course, after spotting something she couldn't explain, she whipped out her phone to capture the bizarre scene. Here's what she caught. Like, I saw the shadows on the sheet change. It looked like somebody... <laughs> like somebody sat on the bed. I don't know, it was really weird. It was like somebody sat down on it. What, what the fuck? Well, I'm not seeing anything, mate. Did you just see that? No. It went back up. Shit in hell, the bed's being bloody bumped up down. Oh, holy no. shit. Look, 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 look. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. Nope. Oh, hey. mate. Imagine seeing that before you go to bloody bed, mate. I'd be punching the bloody bed, wouldn't you? Fucking Rambo, that shit. Get out I'm of my bed! Here, or at least bed. go on the other side. So, uh... Can I sleep here? In this bed? I... Nope. I need it. So... Oh, God. Oh, my God, mm. mate. This is like that film Entity, you know? Boom, 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 boom. Apparently, it still goes on now to her. If you haven't seen The Entity, mate, check it out. It's incredible. It's bloody mental. What? Eric, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. The bed. It looks like someone invisible just got up and then sat again. Did you see that? The bed was somehow pressed down. Someone had to be sitting on it to uh. press it down like that. Mm. Right? Also, the fact that this historical building is so close to a hospital makes things a little spookier. Could someone from the other side be paying her a visit, or is she pulling the wall over our eyes? How do you explain this one? Let us know. Mm, I mean, I've got a theory. Do you want me to tell you? No, I won't. I won't ruin it. I've got a theory. No, I'm not going to. A theory is that it is a ghost. The other theory is you just pull the mattress underneath through the slats. Number eight. Eerie. I know, I know, I know. I'm really winding you up. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really winding you up. Okay. And I said it could be a ghost sitting on the bed. I did say that. Footsteps. It was stupid o'clock when this dude's <laughs> ring doorbell camera <laughs> caught something he'll never forget. He was about to start his day when he felt a chill running down his spine for seemingly no reason. Not long after, he receives a notification on his Ring app about some movement on his front door. With uneven breaths, he checks the app only to find this. What?
Oh, what the f- Oh my god, why are you walking like a fucking horse, mate? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, that's fucking weird as shit, mate. Here are you with your maximum feet. A strange figure walks past his front door like someone returning from a morning jog, but the camera only captures their feet. What, what? or whose feet were those? Was it some sort of next generation stealth camouflage? What the shit, mate? But it's also casting a shadow, which I do have to admit, like when people say ghost to go, can't cast shadows, it, like, I don't know. I, I, who told you that? Who told you that? Someone told you that. And now you believe that, right? Yeah, I know, because there's no physical body, right? I, I get that, but... We're saying that spirits are, are, are on a different realm are real, that we can't see, can't sense, can't touch, and we believe that, so why can't we believe that spirits can sh cast shadows? You know? I think there has to be some sort of like, okay, if you, if, you, if you believe in one thing, you've got to try to at least toy with the idea that something else could be possible, right? That's me being less skeptic for you. Perhaps it was a glitch from the camera, or was it something far more sinister? Mm. Maybe the spirit of someone who was in an accident. With so little known about the neighborhood and its backstory, this one belongs in the pile of unsolved mysteries. That's really good, well, What mate. do you think? Let us know. I don't know. I don't know why you're walking like a weirdo bastard. Huh? Why are you walking? Who walks like that? A shadow bastard, maybe? Absolutely. Number seven. TikTok Number seven. Gone wrong. They say TikTok challenges are trendy ways of connecting with people from all walks of life. But this girl in the scary video you're about to watch has connected with something a bit more out of this world. Check it out. Oh no, 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 no. This is going to be a, this is either going to be a grudge bitch or the ring bitch, mate. I can see it. The sound, the hair, the eyes, mate. The, 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 the sense of it all. Come on, just show me your ring. No, I mean. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I meant show the ring, bitch. It's going to happen. Oh, fucking look at you. Look at you, hey. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I saw it. I fucking saw it. I knew there's something wrong with you lot. There's something wrong with you lot and your twisted bloody heads. Okay? Huh? Why is it that you just, you know exactly how to just needle in on the fear zone, right? You know how to do it. You know how to do it, don't you? You bloody do. Did you miss it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Look. Look. Nothing feels out of place, as it seems just like every other challenge entry until people notice something in the video that other videos don't have. Did you spot it? Yeah. I fucking did with you, bastard white eye! Could she have accidentally meddled with the paranormal? <sighs> God, you grudge bitch. Or finally found an activity for the poltergeist in her room. Heck, did she put someone up for this shenanigan just to add a layer of spookiness to her video? Oh, Whatever mate. the case. This creepy eye. Look at the eyeball. It's like a cooked fucking fish, right? Look at your fish eye, bastard. Everyone feeling a bit spooked out. Number six. Number the six. mystic door. Imagine having a door that's always mysteriously open every morning. Mm. Let's say your back door. No matter how tightly you shut it or how many locks and latches you install, it's always unlocked by the time you check it in the morning. You'd probably assume the worst, right? And if you live alone, let's just say your fear factor would skyrocket. Well, this family noticed their garage door was always open the following day. Confused and a bit freaked out, 
they decided to invest in security cameras and what they discovered is something you have to see to believe. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? This is gonna be on another level! What the hell? The CCT. What was that, mate? I just saw the head. TV footage shows a figure walking out of the house early in the morning before disappearing into thin air. The video is a bit grainy, with yeah. those classic lines running across it from being filmed on the phone, uh -huh. making it easy to suspect video fakery. Mm. Plus, the figure appears to duck as if to blend with where the line would be just before they went poof. Mm. But before you drop the gavel and convict them of making this up, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. As if this was something more sinister like the ghost of someone who lived in the house previously and didn't lock the door. And now that they're in the great beyond, they can't stand the door being locked. Yeah. Besides, the owners never complained about anything missing or any signs of burglary. So, what gives? We'll let you decide. Mm. I don't know Number about that one. Five. Can't explain Haunted it. Aunt house. Number five. Reddit user Quimbo Slice 20 shared his experience when he hey, like Kimbo Slice. visited his aunt in the Iowa countryside to spend the weekend hey, after- Hey, it's Lower! Hey, good old Lower, mate. Go and check out my stories of Lower. You'll like them on the my YouTube channel. Just type in Casper site, Lower. You'll like it. Years away. However, what was supposed to be a getaway offered more than just nostalgia. I'm still hearing voices. Jesus Christ. You see, he used to visit his aunt all the time as a kid, but stopped as he grew older. Even then, he revealed that he would hear disembodied footsteps in the hallways, whispering within the wall, and the whole spooky shebang. The house is ancient, built around the 1860s, and has a history that's the stuff of whispered folklore. With that in mind, our guy goes to the house armed with something he didn't have all those years back. Oh, hang on. What was that? What was that? What was that? A phone with a camera. After waking up to voices echoing around his room at about 2.30 a.m., he immediately brings out his phone and hears a sound from I, I, I think that's... Is that the front door? Was that the... What was that? Behind her closet. Mind you, it's just him and his aunt in the house. But hold on to your stress blanket, because it only gets more terrifying from here. Trembling like a leaf, he clutches his phone as he captures what happens next. Take a look. <laughs> oh! Imagine, oh my god, imagine. The persistent, hair raising knocks on the door make it seem I like remember someone this one, mate. or imagine. something wants in. It's like it's seen that. from a horror movie. So creepy. Only this time. <laughs> It's all too real for our guy. Nope, nope. Right after that, this happens. Oh, mate. That legit would be terrifying, though. Come on. If you were at some creaky ass fucking house, you heard whispers of a child on your left ear, and then the front door, the, the, the door just knocks like that. I, I, motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! Fuck off, I'm trying to sleep! Oh my god. 
he hears the whispers of a child by his bedside, nah. suggesting that whatever unholy presence was outside has now made its way in. At this point, he darts out of there and goes to spend what's left of the night in the car. While the guy appeared too shaken to his bones to investigate his encounters, the orbs that could be noticed flying around the video kinda added oh. some credibility to his spooky backstory. Yeah. But what do you think? Real poltergeist activity or a paranoid man-child who was possibly being <laughs> pranked? Man you decide. <sighs> Number four. Number creepy four. Clowns. Hey. In places where tradition and ancient culture are celebrated, spotting mystical creatures and figures during festivities isn't all that unusual. The video you're about to see has devout worshippers and skeptics in a heated debate over what it might actually be. Mm. Here's Uso? what Uso? was caught. Oh, mate. This is, this is the scene from the, the Ring. This is literally the scene from The Ring. Right? Her combing her hair. Like the video you shouldn't watch. Like a chair spinning round, a ladder falling over, and she's like looking at you, combing her hair, and then she just dives into the blend. Look at you! This humanoid figure was formed in the clouds over China, what? above Mount Zorok. Upon close inspection, the figure resembles a Chinese woman with her hair in a bun overlooking the city, and some of the worshippers in that area believe it's the divine representation of their god looking gracefully upon them that is literally somebody there mate while others opine that it's nothing more than unusually shaped cumulus cloud but seriously can we take a minute to talk about the lens on that phone number three must have a samsung mate danger from the sky number three the video you're about to watch will have you looking to the sky in fear of what might happen and we're not talking about ufos or paranormal entities it will have you gasping in horror and disbelief mm. take a look oh shit oh shit Oh my god, mate, this eagles come down and it just this family. Wow, wow. I mean these eagles can pick up like goats and shit, right? Oh my imagine getting your kid stolen by a fucking eagle. Oh what the hell mate, that's terrifying. I was enjoying a lovely day in the park when, out of nowhere, screams erupted around them. An eagle had dived bombed and what was about to make off with their toddler. Fortunately, they acted just in time to save the child from the Holy clutches of certain moly. doom. Can you imagine if the eagle had taken the child to its nest or accidentally dropped him from a deadly height? Definitely not the kind of park experience anyone oh wants. My you God. might be wondering, since when did birds steal human babies? Well, unlike the friendly birds in the Storks movie, these big, powerful birds of prey can indeed carry off a small child or anything else they can manage. Yeah, there you go, look. And can eat them when push comes to shove. Still skeptical? Check out this chilling scene from another bird attack. Look at the size of that thing! That's what she said. <laughs> Holy shit! Which one's the human head? Which one's the bloody head? Okay. Oh, sh mate, she tried to take that whole woman away. On her way back from the ranch, that th eagle tried to take the whole bloody woman. This girl gets mauled down by an eagle and would have been dismembered if not for the man's timely intervention. The girl looks pretty shaken by the experience, and we can. I bet she's got some proper like fucking dagger holes in her back with that thing. We hope the eagle didn't sink its talons into her yeah, that's before what I'm saying. help arrived. Certain eagles would eat anything their talons can carry from Jesus. rabbits, goats, other birds, and deer to kangaroos. Deer? But grabbing kangaroos? Who would win out of a fight with a kangaroo and an eagle? Kangaroos are pretty hardcore, man. They kick you. 
I have to YouTube that. Children, that's definitely crossing a line. It's not the Jurassic Age anymore, and birds aren't supposed to eat people. Mate, look at the size Number of that two, thing. The bug scare. Number two. Responding to some bug disturbance in her backyard, this woman found something that made her wish she never stepped out of her house in the first place. Check it out. Whoa! Oh, oh, I think somebody, mate, I think somebody t tweeted me with this thing. As this she is... prepared to whack the insect into oblivion, she realized that it was a strange looking flying thing and ran into the safety of her home. Could that have been a dragonfly carrying something? A lunar moth? Or maybe, just maybe, a fairy? Mate, I've literally just recorded a whole video about fae and fairies. Like, go and check that video. I'm, I'm even wearing the same t-shirt, right? This is crazy. Although we couldn't get a close enough shot of the insect, we found another video that made our imaginations run wild. Bit wet now. Yeah, yeah. Really wet now. This is because it rained last night. This is an apple tree. Oh wow! Big apples, very big apples. They're still on it. They're all falling. Some there, and some there. Most of them are on the floor. Oh yeah. What's that? Yeah. What's what? Yeah. Look. Right up there. Insect or something. Is that an insect? Let's have a look. Mate, this is fucking mental. I've literally just made a video about fairies. This is mental. In the I'm beginning, grabbed it. the video was no more than some kids <laughs> showing their father around their friend's garden until they came to an apple tree and spotted the most bizarre insect. Mate, look at the state of you, huh? Look at you. What the fuck? Look at your feet, mate. Huh? Look at this. Look at look at Ronald McDonald here. Look. Jeez, Louise, mate. You must swim like rapid. What in the mother earth was that? At first look, it looked like a dragonfly. But when it took to the sky, it appeared to have a humanoid shape. Are these proof that fairies exist among us? Mm. Or are they insects? that entomologists have yet to discover. Oh, we'll leave it to mate. you to figure out. Go check out my video that I'm telling you, mate. I've got multiple videos of fairies, like legit, caught on bloody ring camera and everything, mate. It's crazy. Number one. Number behind one. Behind the curtain. This next video left viewers scratching their heads in confusion, and it did just that to us as we watched this woman have probably the creepiest night of her life. Here's what was caught. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. What the hell is that? Why is it wrinkling like that? Oh, Someone's no. Yeah. Somebody oh. is. Somebody is. Oh. Rabber it, mate. Rabber it! She notices that someone or something is behind the curtain. As the video continues, it starts to look more like hands pressing against uh -huh. the fabric than just the gentle breeze of the night. If you watch closely, you even see it transform into a face. Uh. Soon enough, she gets up to investigate and finds nothing behind the curtain. The disturbing imprints could have been made by anyone, especially since there's a doorway back there. Plus, the video conveniently didn't show what was back there. 
but let's keep an open mind. Mm. It could have been anything. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments. Mm, okay, very strange. Hey, it, well, there you go, mate. What do you think, eh? Pre some of them are pretty damn freaky deaky, mate. Oh, mate, some of them were. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe for more reactions of the paranormal and also looking into aliens, UFOs, and weird anomalies and stuff going on around the world, okay? Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.